Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Sam Redgate Large channel. It's another day, it's Two Minute Tuesday today. And like last week, we spoke about Kieran Trippier. This week, we're going to talk about a different fullback that has also been linked with Newcastle United. We know, though, that Lucas Dinier will be now, by the looks of things, the front runner to go to Aston Villa. We'll jump into that in a second. If you are new to this channel, be sure to drop a like on the video if you do enjoy and of course do consider subscribing as well and to the returning subscribers as well welcome back to all of you as well so let's talk about Lucas Digne is Lucas Digne a good signing for Aston Villa that is the big question isn't it is he a good signing for Aston Villa and on paper to be honest with you Lucas Digne looks like a very very good signing 28 years of age valued between about 20 and 25 million We've seen, it seems to be that Lucas Digne this season has been out of favour at Everton. He wants out of the club. Rafa Benitez is willing to let him go as well. And a move to Aston Villa could be perfect. If you look at Lucas Digne's defensive stats, the games where he has played, obviously he's played 13 games out of the, what, 20 games so far available to play this season, which is already more than he's missed out on in previous years. Previous years he's played 33 times, 31 times, so he's already missed more games this season than he has over the last three or so years individually. But when you do look at his stats, his stats seem to maintain a similar level of performance. His successful pressure percentage is bang on, if not higher than previous seasons. Obviously, this could be skewed because he has played less games so far. But then his number of tackles and the tackles as well, where his team won possession, they are also pretty consistent with what you would expect from Luca Dean. Luca Digne. However, the big drop-off really is his attacking output so far this season. Over previous seasons, we've seen Luca Digne um, contribute goals, contribute assists from free kicks, and we haven't seen that so far this season. He's been a fan favourite when it comes to FPL for quite a few players over the last few seasons. Uh, the first season he was in England, four goals, four assists, and then the next two, the 2019-20, 2020-21, he's gained seven assists. This season, yet to register any goal involvement and that's really where the big drop off has been. Talking Steven Gerrard though, we know how important Stevie G's uh, fullbacks are for him. He's always made a conscious effort to get in the best fullbacks and we've already seen already with Matty Cash and of course we saw with James Tavernier at his time at Rangers how important these fullbacks are. He likes to create space and use his fullbacks as additional attackers, very much in that Liverpool mould which we are seeing at the moment with Trent Alexander-Arnold and Andrew Robertson. So I think despite the lack of pace or despite the seeming lack of pace from Luca Digne, I think he's more than capable of doing so. We can see that the defensive work rate is there. It's just whether the attacking output can continue and that is the big question. Can Luca Digne get his attacking output back? Because if he does, this looks like an absolutely phenomenal signing for someone like Aston Villa. Uh, as we've spoken about multiple times over the course of the season, they spent a lot of money over the summer transfer window and maybe you would hope that they would be further up the table than they currently are at the moment. I know for a fact that the owners have bigger aspirations and they want to go on and they want to qualify for European football once again for the first time in, what, 10 or so years. And so these are the ambitions of a team like Aston Villa. And I think this signing is very much a signing, if they can get it across the line, of a team that is looking to progress and looking to get that Europa League football. Having a player like Luca Digne is all well and good if you can get the right attitude out of him. It looks like it's something about falling out of favour with Rafa Benitez rather than it being a complete attitude drop, maybe like someone like Adeli Ali, whose attitude seems to have gone downhill recently. So it might be fresh start for Luca Digne and he does really, really well. That's what... Aston Villa fans will be hoping and I'm sure that's what all you FPL addicts will be hoping as well. Anyway, that will conclude this week's Two Minute Tuesday. If you have enjoyed, be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe. Let me know, is Luca Digne moving to Aston Villa? Is that a good move? Do you guys rate it or would you like to see Luca Digne be a little bit more ambitious and maybe move higher up the Premier League table? Thank you for watching and most importantly guys, stay safe. Cheers! Come back,